Ugh. I'll tell you what, that's way too loud. I can't be doing that. It gives away my position. I got me an idea, though. The ATF can't get me on this one. <laughs> Ain't nobody going to find me now. They can't hear me. Let's try this. It even eliminates recoil. Look at that. Woo! I couldn't ask for quieter. Oh, yeah! It's a curse! Alrighty, we're going to settle a debate here. If you've seen movies and stuff, people use a pillow as a silencer in a movie. I want to find out if it really works. I have my doubts, but you never know. The way a silencer is supposed to work is it catches the gases and stops them from, from, and the noise actually comes from when the bullet leaves the barrel and the gases leave and expand rapidly as they leave the barrel. So I really don't think a pillow is going to stop it, but let's see what happens. That's what we do, right? All right, we're going to start out with the smallest pistol that we've got today. It's a Bursa Thunder, chambered in 380. We're going to do one shot as a control and, and see how loud that is. That's pretty loud. Let's try it with a pillow. Figure out how I want to do this. I don't want my hand in front of it. All right, should be safe. Here it goes. I think it lessened the sound a tiny bit. <laughs> it wasn't silent, though. I think, I think you would have heard that if somebody shot at you. But it definitely made a difference. Look at what it did to this pillow. That's a, that's a four inch deep hole. Good night. All right. Let's go on to our next one. All right, next up I have a 38 special revolver made by Taurus. I won't hold that against it. All right, let's see how loud it is. Control shot. That was insanely louder than the 380. Let's try it in the pillow. And I am doubling this up, so let's see what happens. That didn't reduce it much. Maybe a tiny little bit didn't reduce it much, but that recoil was a whole lot more. And I guess that's because there's more gases put, that had something to push something push against and push the gun farther back. So let's go on to the next one. All right. How did this thing get all muddy? I have a Ruger P94 chambered in 40. Uh, Smith & Wesson. We're going to give that a try. See what happens. Here's a control shot. That was even louder than the 38 Special. Let's try it in a pillow. Okay, that definitely silenced it quite a bit. Now I've got pillow fluff stuck in my slide. Let's uh, see if I can clean that out. Much better. Let's go on to the next one. All right, next up, we're going to go up to some rifles. I've got, if this counts as a rifle, I got a 22 long rifle. Uh, it's a uh, Henry lever action. Let's see what happens. Control shot. Not too bad. I'll tell you what, though, 22 is the easiest to silence of any of them. So let's see what we can do with the pillow. I think we got plenty of life left in this one. Now that was much quieter. I'm impressed. That would be kind of hard to aim. But if you're just doing the point shoot method, that would work. Let's go on to the next one. All right, next up, this isn't technically a rifle, but it is a long gun. I got a 20 gauge shotgun. I just got some bird shot. I think this one's going to be pretty loud uh, without the pillow. So let's see how it sounds. Let's go for it. That was a slight bit louder than the 22. Let's try it in a pillow. See if I can do this without shooting myself. We got an empty space right there. Let's do this. Is 
That did some more damage to the pillow. And it, it was quieter, but not much. I wouldn't count on a pillow um, if you're burglaring, burgling a house and want a silent gun. Not that I'd recommend. Next up, I got a 12 gauge single act, uh, break barrel shotgun. I don't even know what brand it is. It's a $50 shotgun. Let's see how loud it is. It's not very loud. That's impressive. What if we tried it with the pillow? Probably help if I put ammo in it. I got bird shot. Let's try that again. That was pretty loud. Let's try it with the pillow. See what we can do here. I got my hands behind it. Let's try this. That wasn't much quieter. Um, not impressed. It did jam this thing over my thumb. That hurt. But I'm not impressed with the uh, noise reduction. My shell did get jammed in there when I did that. There we go. All right. On to the next one. All right. Now we're stepping it up to some semi-real rifles. I got a uh, uh, AR, chambered, and uh, this is 223. And uh, let's see how loud this is. That was louder than any of them so far. So, I expected that. It's a rifle. But uh, how did this thing get all muddy, too? That's worse than the 40. All right. Let's try it in a pillow. Running out of places to do this. That didn't make much difference, but I heard some sizzling. Let's try it with two pillows. Give it the benefit of the doubt. I got two pillows, both doubled up. I got four layers of pillow here. Hardly slept on. All right. Let's give this a try. Ready? Again, more sizzling, but uh, I would say ATF really doesn't care about using a pillow on a rifle round. It doesn't make all that much difference. Let's go a little bit bigger. I got one more rifle for you. That's going to be a mite louder than this. All right. Next up, I got a uh, 1898 Spanish Mauser chambered in 7mm Mauser. Uh, bolt action rifle. And let's see how loud it is. I love this gun. I can't see. That's a mite louder. So, let's see what happens to some pillows. Ooh. How do we get a big hole in this? All right, Let's see if I can figure out how to do this. We are loaded and ready to go. Let's see if I can do this without shooting through the go-kart. And here we go. I don't feel like that's a good idea. Let's see, there we go. That didn't make all that much difference. I would not suggest trying to silence a big bore rifle with pillows. It's not real safe for one, and uh, it doesn't work great. But what if we had more pillows? I've got like several more pillows. Let's give it a try through some more. And these are lawn, lawn chair pillows. They're made for outdoors. Maybe they're higher quality. Let's see. I need some more pillows. Whew. Look at these lawn chair pillows. They might be higher quality.
Dog. This is the dog's bet. All right. I got uh, several more pillows. I'm going to double these up. And it was getting a little... Uh, not that I'm I'm scared, but uh, it's getting a little out of my comfort zone holding them all in front of the rifles. And so holding three more in front of a rifle, I just don't, for some reason, I don't feel like that's a great idea. So I have one, two, three. Uh, I'm going to count these as two because they're doubled up. Four, five, six, seven pillows in a row. Seven layers of pillow. Let's see what happens. I'm going to go back to the uh, shotguns for this one. All right, again, Winchester 1200. Uh, 20 gauge with bird shot. Let's see what happens. I didn't get a control shot. Let's let's hear them right next to each other again. That quieted it quite a bit. Um, that would be kind of inconvenient to carry around with you, but you got to do what you got to do, ATF. Well, if they start banning pillows, I'm revolting. All right. 12 gauge again, got 12 gauge bird shot. Let's see what happens. Here's the control shot. That was pretty loud. Let's try it in the pillows. That was impressively quiet. Um, I think you'd still know somebody was shooting at you though, but it was impressively quiet. Let's go on to a rifle again. All right, back up with a AR-15, chambered in uh, 223. It's chambered in 556, but I got 223 in there. Let's see what happens. Control shot. Pretty loud. Go for the pillows. I'm going to call this the Andy Silencer 1.0. Well, oh, that's one. That was quieter, but again, really inconvenient. But I, I wouldn't. I, I think I could get it much quieter or other means that I cannot disclose currently on video. Back up my 18, 1898 Mauser, uh, chambered in seven millimeter Mauser. Let's do a control shot again and see what happens. I can't see through my scope. Oh well. All right, that was quite loud. Let's see what happens in the pillows. I think that made a big hole in them. How could that have happened? All right. That didn't quiet it much. I'd say there's some... Uh, there's a lot of noise coming out of there. Don't, don't, don't try and get away with... Uh, Shooting somebody with a 7 millimeter Mauser quietly. All right, back with the 22. I want to try this one more time, do a couple of rounds, see how much quieter it is. This is uh, the only one that I'm very impressed with as to how quiet it made it. Um, let's, let's, let's try this. Control shot. All right, again, 22 is not that loud to start out with, but. Let's see what happens in the pillows. That was pretty quiet. Let's try it again. How many times can you use the same hole and it starts getting louder? I think I'm empty. That's uh, pretty impressive. I'd say that the uh, if you want to silence a gun with pillows, so that the AT if they start regulating pillows, if you want to silence a gun as legally as possible, um, but not pay two hundred dollar stack stamp, I would say that a twenty two long rifle is the way to go, and about six seven pillows in a row. I don't know how you could get. Yes, I do. Duct tape. That's the way to go. Buy a five dollar roll of duct tape, six or seven pillows. And you got you a homemade silencer. Nobody would even know. I wouldn't take it to the range if I were you. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day. And uh, 
If you'd like to see more, more uh, videos like this, just let me know. And I'd love to do more videos like this. Um, please subscribe. Like I said, as soon as I hit 100 subscribers, I'm going to drop that video of blowing up the full-size van with 50 pounds of Tannerite. You don't want to miss that. That's It is uh, very insane. I've been looking over the footage again lately, and it's insane. So you don't want to miss that. And uh, comment, leave a like. That really helps me out a whole lot. And the thing that helps me out the most is if you uh, are willing to watch another one of my videos. There should be one on the screen right about now. And uh, if you can watch that, that'd be great. If not, that's fine too. You have a great day, and you'll see me next time. Thanks for watching.